Good morning, everyone. I was reading James this morning, and I thought I'd share a verse with you that spoke to me, and it's out of James chapter 5, verse 16. It says, Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Now, I titled this Get Over Yourselves because after reading this verse, I thought a lot of people in the church are lacking in this area. And it's partly because they fear exposure. No one wants to be exposed. Uh, a lot of Christians don't like to air their dirty laundry to anybody, which I think is wise to a certain extent. I don't think everybody needs to know our problems. However, we should all have trusted people in our lives that we do confess our sins to. And here's the thing, nobody's righteous. Nobody, not one. Read Romans chapter 3, verses 10 through 12. It says right there, no one is righteous. So if you're afraid of being exposed, you have just been exposed. I just exposed you. You're not righteous. Sorry. You're not perfect. You're a sinner just like everybody else. The only thing that makes you righteous is the blood of Christ. It's only by... The mercy of God that we are declared righteous. And the funny thing is, is, as much as we try to hide our sin, in most cases, people, they already know about our sin because it manifests itself in our lives. It manifests itself through fruit. So most of the time, people closer to you, they already know. If you're selfish, guess what? We already know. Uh, if you hate, if you're a hateful person, guess what? We already know. If you're a drunk, guess what? Most likely, we already know we've seen you drunk a lot. Uh, if you're lustful, we already know. You're a pervert all the time, maybe. Uh, it's, it's not hard to figure out. If you're jealous, envious, angry, a lot of time that will mani manifest itself in sarcasm. Um, some of the most insecure people you have in your life are also the most sarcastic. Um, people close to you, they may not know specifically what your sin is, but they can get in the ballpark. So as much as you're trying to hide your sin, everybody knows, okay? Everyone knows you're dealing with something. So what am I saying? This is what I'm saying. Find a Christian brother or sister or a mentor and confess your sins to them. Why? What's the purpose? James already told us it's so that you can be healed. It heals. It helps overcome that sin. The purpose is for healing, so that we can walk in the light, so that we can produce fruit. One last thing. If someone does confide in you, and they do confess their sins to you, don't make the mistake of thinking you're more righteous than this person. Don't classify your own sin as less. You need mercy just as much as the person who's confiding in you. And if you can't recognize that, then you may be in more trouble than the person who is confiding in you. Uh, a good parable would be in Luke chapter 18, verses 9 through 14, the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. Anytime you're feeling more righteous than the next person, I would recommend that you read that. And I'll leave you with this quote. It says, Satan dreads nothing but prayer. His one concern is to keep the saints from praying. He fears nothing from prayerless studies, prayerless work, prayerless religion. He laughs at our toil, he mocks our wisdom, but he trembles when we pray. We all need prayer. We all need community. And we all need the church. We need to be praying for each other about specific things. So get over yourself. Find a Christian brother or sister that you can trust and start praying for each other. Thanks, bye.